and welcome to the next installment of my revision podcast and this time uh, we move into the 1930s and we'll start off with Manchuria the background is obviously the depression which had hit all countries fairly bad including Japan who needed desperately needed materials and um, they needed living space as well because Japan is packed they the military had been particularly disillusioned after the Washington Naval Agreement when they'd had to um, agree to a a lesser ratio than America and um, Britain but also the the recent London Naval Agreement when they'd had to agree to the same for cruisers and the government in Japan was not popular the Prime Minister Haraguchi had been assassinated in 1930 and um, the military were getting more and more powerful the army had been stationed in parts of China in Manchuria uh, throughout the 20s because there were certain Japanese interests there and um, it was in 1931 that the the Mukden incident happened where an explosion on the Japanese uh, railway there had occurred and the Japanese army blamed the Chinese and took an autonomous decision without the uh, ratification of the Japanese Prime Minister or government to invade parts of Manchuria. The um, League of Nations obviously were called in to deal with this and they did very little. They condemned, they, they asked the Japanese to leave, however it wasn't the Japanese government that was in charge, it was the army. And the League of Nations dealt with governments, not armies. So that didn't really work, um, by which time the Japanese had set up an independent puppet state called Manchukuo, um, with its own currency and its own stamps and stuff, um, which the League refused to acknowledge. Uh, they didn't impose any economic sanctions or military sanctions. They did send a guy called Lord Lytton to investigate what had happened and he um, took his time go halfway around the world and find out and came back with a verdict of Japanese were in the wrong. So the League of Nations still did nothing and the Japanese left the week the League because all the League had done is refuse to accept Manchukuo as a state um, so they left in disgust. Now why did the League do nothing? Well it was depends on its two largest powers really Britain and France and um, the League would have had to get an army together and fly it a long way. Um, it would have taken a long time and it might not have been able to do anything had it got there. The invasion was already over. However, it was mainly because Britain and France were not interested in doing anything for two different reasons. France were more worried about matters at home, Germany still. And um, Germany, who were in the League of Nations, did ha didn't have any interest in, in the Pacific anyway, really, after they'd been taken off of them in the Treaty of Versailles. So they weren't interested, and, and neither were Italy, who didn't have any colonies over there either it's Britain really that we turn to because Britain had got a couple of important very wealthy colonies in Hong Kong and Singapore now that might have encouraged them to do something about obvious aggression in in the Pacific however they were worried that Japan would invade and take over Hong Kong and they were quite happy for Japan to go into China who'd not exactly been the best of friends with Britain over the 20s anyway um, they were worried about racking off the Japanese. They were um, traditionally friendly with the Japanese anyway and it would have taken a mighty effort by the British Navy dragging resources from other places in the world um, to actually sort out the problem. They could have done it with the help of America but as we know America are not 
in the League of Nations. And the Americans, anyway, would not really want to, despite their sympathy for the Chinese um, having been invaded, not really want to help in this situation because their businessmen have got a lot of interests in Japan and it wouldn't help them in times of depression to actually um, fight against Japan. So that's why military sanctions were never um, enacted. But economic sanctions could have been. For Britain, they could have not traded with Japan, but what would have happened then? Again, in the time of the Depression, Japan would have just gone to America and traded with them. So existing markets, which were scarce, would have become non-existent for the other countries in the League. Therefore, nothing was done for various interlinking reasons about the Japanese, but it seemed to be okay because Manchuria and Japan was just miles away. League of Nations was a, a European organisation anyway. So if it ever happened in Europe, something would be done. But because it's miles away, then um, don't need to worry about it.